Okay, so the purpose of this next demonstration is to highlight different types of fixation artifacts, which are changes in tissue morphology that are created by the process of fixation. And in fact, um, processing can also have a major impact on tissue morphology. If we remember that uh, during tissue processing, the tissue is passed sequentially through graded alcohols at the start. So that means if you have tissue that's not completely fixed with, say, formaldehyde, if that's being used, when that tissue goes onto the processor, since the first thing that it sees is 70% alcohol, um, effectively you are seeing or can see the effects of uh, fixation in 70% alcohol. And um, in short, if you use uh, just straight alcohol, you get a lot of tissue shrinkage. And that's what we can see here in, in this first example. Uh, it's a H&E stain section of, of liver, as you can probably tell. And there are prominent gaps which have emerged um, within each or between each of the liver lobules there. Um, now this is not straight alcohol that was used here. This is a, a mixture uh, of uh, um, alcohol with chloroform and acetic acid. Those other components are supposed to try and offset this um, shrinkage effect. But as you can see, we're still getting a, a sort of reasonable amount of shrinkage. Um, if we go to a high power now, we'll actually see a second characteristic feature of alcohol fixation, and that's hemolysis. So there's maybe one or two red blood cells, perhaps that's one there. <laughs> but if you look at these ones here, they've got a characteristic outline of a red blood cell, but the cell has actually disappeared. There's just a shell there. So that's another characteristic feature of fixation with an alcohol-based fixative. If we look within the sinusoids, within the uh, lobules themselves, you can see further evidence of that hemolysis. So normally you would have blood cells, you see there's a, there's a neutrophil just there, but the, uh, the red blood cells that would be percolating through those sinusoids, they've all pretty much disappeared. So you see them through here, a few little plates of cells all lined up. Um, and so if you were interested in seeing that aspect of liver morphology, then it may well be to your advantage to use an alcohol-based fixative because that would enable the red blood cells to be essentially lost and then you can see those spaces much more clearly. Okay, so that's Carnois, an alcohol-based fixative designed to increase the speed of fixation uh, when needed to be, when things need to be looked at more quickly. Um, but unfortunately, a side effect of that can be um, loss of red blood cells. Now this is um, uh, a different fixation technique now. Uh, also one that is designed to um, fix tissue more quickly. Um, this has been fixed with microwaves. It's a little bit overstained, so the hematoxylin is actually bound uh, quite strongly, and so this needs to be further differentiated. As you can see, there's um, you know these nuclei here, for example, are quite dark. The connective tissue is also very dark, and that tends to be a feature of this. Um, fixation technique with microwaves, you find you have to differentiate it a lot further in order to clear that, uh, that collagen. But the main thing that I wanted to demonstrate here is, first of all, you notice that compared to the alcohol, there is very little, if, if any, shrinkage. There's maybe a little bit of separation of some of these collagen fibers, but certainly the, the collagen itself is well adhered to the uh, liver tissue itself. So. Again, you can get shrinkage, it's not an absolute, but certainly you tend to get less shrinkage with microwave fixation. And as we keep moving through here, you'll see that again, the collagen is quite well adhered to the edge. However, you may have noticed that there is another feature of microwave fixation, and that is with, like with carnoids, the alcohol-based fixative, we've got total destruction of the red blood cells. And in fact, it's perhaps even more complete than what we saw with carnoids. There's just fragments um, of the contents of red blood cells, hardly anything there.
Okay, so that's microwaves. Also very fast for fixing tissue, but unfortunately it does have some effects on the, the staining of the tissue, and that could have been accommodated if I had persevered with differentiating that correctly. Um, uh, and it also tends to destroy uh, the red blood cells. Now this next one is uh, fixed in a fixative called Bouin's. Bouin's actually does have formalin, but it also contains picric acid. And the purpose of having picric acid present is to provide a, 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 to increase, I guess, tissue strength or hardness in situations where you may have a tissue where there's not a lot of structure that present at the beginning. So something like a lymph node where there is very little connective tissue internally to bind and hold things together when the tissue has been fixed, then something like Bouin's or other recipe containing picric acid is a, um, is a good way to increase the, uh, s the overall strength of the tissue. Unfortunately, what it tends to do in the case of tissue like liver that already has quite a lot of uh, strength to it in terms of there's a lot of cellular elements that are well adhered and um, they're generally well preserved without using um, uh, picric acid, it actually ends up making the tissue too hard or brittle. And so you can see here in this section of liver, um, there's these cracks uh, that are penetrating right through the tissue itself. So as the, the section has been mounted onto the glass slide and then dried in the oven, um, the, the overall brittleness of this tissue has resulted in these cracks occurring right through the tissue. And so that's as distinct from, say, shrinkage, because here is our boundary between the connective tissue and we've got our hepatocytes here on either side, and there's little or no shrinkage in this situation, but there's certainly a very large crack that's passing right through the, the center there. If we just drop back down to a lower power, we may be able to uh, look at some other features there. It's um, generally better on red blood cells because of the formalin being in there, but actually you can see in this case here, if we look at this, looks like a large vein or something there, there's still some degree of hemolysis going on here. Um, but there is uh, certainly evidence of well-preserved red blood cells as well. So generally speaking, less hemolysis, uh, less uh, shrinkage, because that's mainly seen with alcohol-based um, fixation, but we do end up with getting quite a bit of cracking, uh, as you can see there. Okay, so that's three different slides just demonstrating cracking and shrinkage and hemolysis. Of course, you can see those things as well in, in regular formalin fixed tissue, and that all depends upon how well the tissue has been fixed before it goes onto the tissue processor.